Hi, everyone, and welcome to Studio Jake. I, of course, am your host, Jacob Airy. Thank you so much for joining me on my vidcast, where I talk about all things pop culture, from television to anime to novels and to comic books. Today, I have a really fun th thing to talk about, but before we dive in, be sure to like this video, share it out to all your friends, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and also subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscriptions. I'm over 770. Can you believe it? All of you are being awesome and just pushing me toward my goal. I really appreciate that. And I really hope that today you will gently tap or slam that like button, whatever you would prefer. Just help me get to 1000. All right. So diving into this topic, it is so fun to hear that Eric July, the founder of Ripiverse Comics, has officially announced Isom 2. It looks like it's going to be awesome. He released this really sleek, very well done animated trailer to go along with the announcement, and it is phenomenal. I honestly can't wait to see what it is. I loved um, Isom 1. I thought it was fantastic. And the haters, you know, they can go up an alley and holler fish for all I care. Isom was a whew, lightning in the bottle kind of moment. Um, Eric July, people kept saying, hey, don't just complain about what's going on at Marvel and DC. Do your own thing. He said, challenge accepted. And it ended up selling over $2 million worth. Of, I think it even got up to $3 million at one point. Fantastic. Well done. He can uh, stick it in the eye of all of his detractors who are really weird. But <laughs> they always do these weird flexes when they talk about his stuff. And now he's back with Isom 2. And this is just after he announced that um, he's found writers for spinoffs, including Alpha Core, which will be written by Chuck Dixon, the co-creator of Batman Villain Bane, which I think is fantastic. He made a couple of other announcements, but I primarily want to talk about Isom 2. I think this is going to be a, a fine, well-written, cool comic book just like number one. Hopefully we see it advance and... If Eric July has shown anything, it's that he is a good writer. Now, he didn't do the artwork for Isom. He hired an outside artist. Good for him and good for that artist. And he's going to do the same here. And one of the cool things about this um, series is he's going to allow people to buy three different covers. Uh, the amazing artist Shane Davis is doing one. He got uh, Ethan Van Skyver from the uh, Cyber Frog universe. He and uh, Kyle Ritter, who's a colorist, they also did their own variant cover. It's going to be a smash hit, I think. I, I think we're going to see um, I some... Uh, I don't know. I can't... I got to be honest. I don't know if it'll... Uh, do as well as the first one. Uh, number ones always oversell. It's just a, a fact of life. Uh, number ones, and then if they get some sort of special cover artist, like say Jim Lee to do the artwork for one, then yes, that one does really well. But um, as of, but that doesn't uh, change the fact that this is already a huge success. Uh, looking at their Twitter, their um, they're sh um, showing all of the people who are getting involved, who are uh, sharing photographs of their merch, such as hats and uh, sweaters and T-shirts. Um, he's also doing a catch-up campaign. So if you missed Isom 1 and you're like, hey, what's all the fuss about? Definitely uh, do that one. He's doing bookmarks. Um, hopefully he'll expand into action figures and into collectibles. I would love to see like acrylic standees of the Isom universe, or excuse me, the Ripperverse uh, series. But like I said, he is already having a huge success. Last time I um, last time I saw an update as of the filming of this video, he had reached over 750k, which, like I said, is so impressive. It's just amazing to see the indie scene all come together. Um, some people are uh, calling this rise of indie comics the Iron Age of comics. So you had the Golden Age, you had the Silver Age, the Bronze Age, what people are calling the Modern Age, and then now we're in this this new age where indies are really taking over with the you know the Berserker series from Boom Studios. That was in, the funds for that was independently raised. Uh, we're seeing things like Alterna Comics, like Cyberfrog, like Common America. 
all these different aspects of the comic book scene are coming together. And I really think because of this, because of how excellent Isom 1 was, I think Isom 2 is going to be great. And I'll put... Um, you know, on the screen, I'll put the, uh, at least, uh, cover A and cover B, and you can take a look at it and judge for yourself, but definitely head over to Young Ripa 59 that's Eric July's YouTube channel, and check out what he's doing for the Ripaverse, because I think it's going to be a game changer, and we're going to see a lot more indie superhero type fiction come up, maybe even from yours truly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up, that you'll leave me a comment, tell me what you think, that you'll share it out with your friends, and of course, consider subscribing to Studio Jake. I cover all kinds of nerd and pop culture topics, including film, television, anime, comic books, and so much more. I hope that you'll also head over to my main website, studiojakemedia.com, where I have even more news, views, and commentary. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, head over to my Locals page. That's studiojakemedia.locals.com. It's the best way to support me. I'm trying to build a little community there. I have exclusive reviews and articles, so definitely head over there and check it out. And I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.